Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. I have Kermit on. Isn't he sweet? And he, oh, he's got his banjo. Let me not pull that up too high. Um, and it says dreamer on the sleeve. Although I'm not a dreamer, I'm an idealist. I have dreams and wishes, but I also believe in working towards them. Now, uh, this is kind of going to be a little bit of a bitch session. I'm... You know, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm, I'm aggravated. So, uh, there is a person, I'm not going to name that person, but I know she watches all my videos and she's going to know I'm talking about her. And I know it seems small to do this on here, but you know what? I'm going to be small because I just, I don't give a damn right now because I'm so fuming, fuming mad right now. I'm just really irritated. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad because, okay, I've always been really open on here about my mental health. Always, always really open about it because I want people to feel like this is a safe place and that they, they can relate to me. I want people to feel that they're like, you know, I felt like that too. And, um, uh, but I've never, I don't have any kind of illness, like mental illness that like not schizophrenia or anything not that schizophrenia or people with schizophrenia are violent terrible people but I'm just saying I um I have control over my emotions you know and I um I don't react uh because of my mental illness you know I I'm severely, I have very severe depression, I have PTSD, I have um, anxiety, OCD, all this stuff just rolled together and I'm dealing with it and I'm dealing with it very well. I've been doing very well. The last couple of months have been a breeze. Um, the last six months really have been, well, three months have been great. Um, but I'm... Uh, what I'm annoyed about is there is a person, a very irresponsible person who has made bad choices one right after the other, but it's everyone else's fault but hers. You know what I mean? And then when we, the group that's involved, get annoyed and irritated and have had it and we say something, we're labeled as crazy. She's like, you're crazy, you know, and, um, there's only so much people can take, you know what I mean? There's only so much people can take. And I'm trying to edit myself because I don't want to let it slip, let her name slip out because for one thing, I don't want to give her the satisfaction or, or whatever. I know that seems, uh, immature, but it's just, I'm so irritated with her right now. I'm just flustered. I'm flustered. Well, so, so she is asking somebody about my mental state. Like, like, am I doing okay? Not out of care. It's not out of care. It's because she's afraid I'm going to hurt her, you know, hurt her feelings or something. Because I think that her lifestyle is a fucking disaster. She has made one terrible decision right after another. Now, I know she had a hard childhood and I did all I can to help her. I've done all I can to help her. And she's labeled me as mean and evil and a bitch. But that's because I'm trying to hold her accountable. So she thinks that makes me a bitch. That makes me a bitch because I expect something of her. I don't expect anything from her anymore. She's a blight on society, but she, um, she's made irresponsible decisions one right after the other. And she's brought children into this world that she can't take care of. And she's raising them to be the same way. And no shade to people who are on, on, on public assistance and food stamps and things like that. No shade. Okay. When Marshall had cancer, we needed help. Um, but I look at public assistance as a hand up, not a hand out. And I get really annoyed with people who live off of it for the sake of living off it. Like they live off of it because, well, I'm not, I'm not going to work. I don't have to do anything because I get this and I don't need to do that because you know what I mean? 
<clears throat> I believe, see, I believe in accountability. I believe in responsibility. And I believe in raising your children to be accountable, responsible adults. And if you're incapable of doing that, I don't think you should have children. I, it, the thing is, people don't have to take a test before they have kids. You know what I mean? And this bitch has had... <sighs> She's had more men on board her than a damn aircraft carrier. <coughs> and, um, but it's my fault. It's my fault that she, uh, has made irresponsible decisions. And it's my fault that she can't do nice things for her kids. And it's my fault that she can't raise her children properly. And it's my fault that she sucks at parenting. And it's my fault that she's the laziest person on the planet. And it's my fault that she's poverty stricken because of her bad choices. It's one thing to be impoverished because, it, you know, bad things keep happening. But, you know, Bad things keep happening to her because she's letting them happen by living the life she's living. She's, you know, it's my fault that she married a child, M-O-L-E-S-T-E-R, and he hurt one of her children. That's my fault. That's my fault. Or it's everyone else's fault. It's not her. She bears none of the responsibility. And I know a lot of children are hurt by men, and I'm not blaming those moms. But I am blaming this mom because it is her fault. It's her fault. And I knew from the start that this guy was going to do something to one of her kids. I knew it. I predicted it. And oh, oh, who was right? Who was right? The crazy person. The crazy person was right. The insane person was right. I was right. So I'm crazy because she married a child, M-O-L-E-S-T-E-R. You know, I, I called that shit from the beginning. I called it from the beginning. It happened. It happened. But I'm crazy. He confessed to her that he'd done this to other children. And she's like, oh, that's fine. Go ahead and sleep in the bed with her. And what happens? It happens. And it's her fault. It's this mother's fault. It's his fault, too. Okay. But he's also, it's all, he's also blaming everyone else. But, but let's not pretend that she didn't know and she doesn't know that hooking up with shady men. Because she... She never hooks up with decent men. She just hooks up with shady, shitty, drug addicts and scumbags and lazy fuckers that won't get a job and pieces of garbage and M-O-L-E-S-T-E-R's. A-B-U-S-E-R's. That's what she gets together with. And she's been told by medical professionals that her revolving door of shitty men is hurting her children. It's harming her children. Eye opener? No, no, no. Because she is trying to find the Prince Charming that is going to take care of her. And it's, even if they can't take care of her, she feels like they're going to eventually take care of her. So it's okay. And here's the thing. You can't, depend on it well let me rephrase that you have to be able to depend on yourself because you don't know what's going to happen to the person you're with and she's had shitty relationship after shitty relationship with shittier and shittier people they get exponentially shittier as she moves along uh with the this last well, i don't even know if it's the last one because she goes she goes through men like taco bell goes through some people you know what i mean but she is just, but it's always somebody else's fault. It's always someone else's fault and it's disgusting and it pisses me off. And I was originally making this video while I was driving my car, but I was getting so pissed off that I couldn't even do that anymore. But, um, and I know I'm probably going to get hate for this video because I'm, we're not supposed to slut shaming. We're supposed to be sensitive to these idiots and I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be sensitive to some fucking moron that can't stop passing out her vagina to any piece of shit that comes along. And that's it. You, you, you never see her with like a decent guy, you know, a hard working guy. You never see her with someone like that. It's always some shitty meth head looking motherfucker that she's with. Always. Always. 
and it just and each one gets exponentially worse and and then she's like she's down on her luck because uh the world is out to get her but i'm the crazy one i'm the crazy one i'm crazy So in the way in but you know I know this is probably um, it, it doesn't matter because I, I don't want anything to do with her really I because I've tried for years and years to help her in her life I tried to help her get enrolled in school I tried to teach her how how to be responsible now, what does she do? What does she do? When she's living in my house, she turns a trick. She turns a trick. She whores herself out. And then I tell her, you know, you can't whore yourself out when you're living under my roof. <laughs> you can't do it. You know? So, and that was me being mean. I'm being mean. I'm being mean. You know? What else does she do? Oh. It's just, I, it's just the list is so long. She's just... She's a piece of shit. She's a garbage person and she doesn't care. She doesn't care that she has nothing in her life. She doesn't have anything and it's disgusting to me. And, but it's my fault. It's my fault. I'm sorry, bitch. I tried to help you get your shit together before it became a complete and total clusterfuck. Tried to help you get your shit together and You repay me by talking shit and acting like I'm the crazy one, which, you know, I have my issues. I'm on medication because of depression and PTSD, not because of dick addiction. I'm sorry, homeless dick addiction, meth head dick addiction. So anyway, sorry, I know I got languagey, but anyway, that's it. I had to get that off my chest, out of my system. I'm going to go wash some dishes, but I will talk to everyone later. Bye.